It's called paying your dues. Now, do you feel as if right now across the board, without generalizing, that athletes and entertainers alike are not placing heavy emphasis on paying their dues? I feel like the answer is yes. I want to get your answer in a moment. But the detriment for not paying one's dues is not being ready for success once you achieve it overnight. So why would you want instant stardom, right, Todd? Yeah, but I don't think these players anymore. I think they got enough people around them now to make sure that they're okay in what they're growing up in. And what I have noticed is that these guys got their head on their shoulders, man. You know, they do. They got the right people in their ears now. It's not all about buying the fancy cars and all that anymore. It's True. all about, you know, making your right, proper investments, make sure your money can do free so that at the end of the day, you're not broke. I mean, I think to me, I think the deal that Nike did for Allen Iverson, I believe it was Nike, that was the best deal he could have ever had. I mean, the, the man, when he turns, you know, 52, I think, was it 30 something or was it 35, 38? 38 no, it's older yeah. than that. It's, it's 50. No, I think it's 50 something. I thought it was late 30. Or maybe right. it, it might be right, but he gets like 50 something million dollars. But that's the best. How could you not make that deal? That's an amazing deal for him. Well, what about what's happening now? Because the better deals that people are making now through their publicists and agents are through social media. Do you feel, and I'm not going to go vague on this like a lot of talking heads might, but do you feel like social media is in of itself more advantageous for an athlete if they want to have some leverage when they negotiate? Or do you feel like social media is just one huge freaking distraction? It's a distraction, but at the same time, it's really paving the way for a lot of people. So that's what I definitely feel.